Greetings family, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. Thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for subscribing. And if this is your first time, thank you for clicking on my video. I love you so much. Welcome to the family because I know and I'm confident that this channel will be a mega blessing to you. Please do subscribe and like, share, comment. Let me know if these videos bless you and don't forget to click on that notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. Hallelujah. I have a prophetic word for you. You being joyous and happy is giving someone sleepless nights. Your joy and your happiness are giving someone sleepless nights. Yes, your instincts are right. Be careful with the people in your innermost circle. Someone in your innermost circle is having sleepless nights because you are joyous and you are happy. Because of what God is doing in your life. Someone is not happy with that. This word is coming to someone. Precisely, God has been doing great things to you. You've been, you've been down for so long. You've been in one place for so long. You've been trusting God for so many things for so long. And all of a sudden, God is introducing you to a season of plenty, a season of answered prayers, a season where everything that you have trusted him for that you have cried about is beginning to fall in place and for once you are beginning to be happy you are beginning to be at peace you are beginning to be joyful and then someone close to you is not happy with the fact that you are happy how do you know that they are not their reaction towards you is beginning to change Someone who used to be there for you, someone who used to be there for you, you consider them as a friend, as a close friend. But all of a sudden, now that things are getting better, they are beginning to drift away. They are beginning to have funny attitude. It's like they are getting too busy for you and you are beginning to wonder what is going on. Now, this is the thing. Most often when people help you, when you are down and people help you, they really don't help you so that you can stand. Sometimes people help you so they can prove to themselves that they are better than you. So you receive help from people who can as well help you to stand on your feet. But they would rather just give you, you fish daily than teach you how to catch fish. Your being down is making them feel better with themselves. Boasting their ego like they are better off than you. So sometimes someone will feed you, not because they don't want you to die, but because they want to keep telling you and telling themselves that they are better off than you. They want to keep telling you that day you are alive because of them. You could eat because of them. You owe them your life. And then all of a sudden, when things start getting better, you used to lean on them. And then all of a sudden, God begins to make, make a way for you that you no more need to lean on them and it becomes a problem. Watch out for who was ready to mourn with you and who was ready to, to condole with you, but they are not ready to be happy with you. They are not ready to rejoice with you. When you have good news, there are no way to be found. Watch the facial expressions. Of the people in your inner Moscow. When you are giving good news, watch their facial expressions. Those who just can't help, they will smile with their mouth, with their lips, but their eyes are not smiling. Take note of them. They are people that you need to avoid. God says someone is having sleepless nights because you are happy. Your joy and your happiness are giving someone sleepless night. That is not a friend. And it says your instincts are right because you are feeling it. You are feeling like someone, you are, you are feeling like something is wrong about some with someone who has been close to you. You are wondering what's wrong. Your instincts are right. Someone in your inner Moscow is not happy 
with what God is doing in your life. And they are spending sleepless nights. This is what you, you, you've got to do. You've got to avoid them. You've got to distance yourself from them. You know why? Because jealousy is the seed of witchcraft. Jealousy is the seed of witchcraft. And it gives room for the devil to penetrate them. It gives room for them to be penetrated, to be used of the devil to harm you. So it is just a seed. And if you continue and then you continue exposing to them what God is doing in your life, it will be, it will, it, it will grow from jealousy to envy. And it's just a matter of time. Demons are going to back them up and they can hurt you. They can even try to kill you. So you've got to be careful. Stay away from them. Avoid them. Not everyone that was in your past life is, is good enough for your tomorrow. Not even good enough for your present. God might have used them. It doesn't matter their motive. But God might have used them to provide for you when you needed the help. But there comes a time when Abraham has got to let go of lots. There comes a time when Abraham needs to let lots go. Yes, Abraham grew up with lots. Yes, Lot has been a part of his life. But there comes a time when God is taking you somewhere and you've got to leave Lot behind. And you have got to let Lot go. Even though you love him, even though he's a, a part of your family, you have got to let him go. You know why? Because at some point, it was okay when you were back in your country. It was okay being with Lot. But where God wants to take you, Lot becomes the veil that is covering the blessings of God over your life. That at some point you are going to have to let go. And the moment Lot is separated from you, that's when God can boldly tell you, look, look, look towards the north, the east, the west, and the south. As far as you can see, you will possess. Because as long as Lot was with you in this new level, you couldn't even see anything. Sometimes, you've got to let the people that have been a part of your past life, you've got to let them go. Some of them can't even handle what God is doing in your life now. Talk less of what God, where God is taking you. You've got to let them go for your own good and for the good of your destiny and for what God is doing in your life. God bless you. Shalom.